Welcome back to my channel. If you have not read the description down below, you obviously do not know that this is a new series that I'm creating. This is the Snag It or Trash It series. The purpose of this series is to kind of give you guys an idea of whether or not beauty products, in my opinion, are worth snagging or trashing. Get it? I have been buying a lot of different uh, beauty products lately uh, because obviously you guys know that I struggle with my pores, my oily skin, my random breakouts, and so many other things that I have been trying to find remedies for. So to help you guys out, if you have any um, issues or struggles similar to mine, I thought, you know what, maybe I should create something to kind of give you guys information so that you're not spending your money like I'm spending mine. You're welcome. Anyway, today's video is on the London, or I'm sorry, Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer, um, and this is in 003. I don't think it comes in any other shade, but in case you guys are not familiar with this, this is a primer that's supposed to keep you matte for up to eight hours. And I'm going to read the back of this so we get a clear understanding of exactly what it is supposed to do. Um, before I do that, I just want to give you guys a brief um, background on why I bought this. Long story short, I've got oily skin. Um, I'm tired of walking around and dabbing um, my face because it removes my makeup. Not only that, but it also removes my blush, which, which then makes me look like I'm dead. Good reason to find a product to keep me from being oily, right? I would think so. I purchased this product at my local CVS for about $8.99. And sidebar, guys, I am a little sick. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little groggy, but... I need to sit down this. I did. As I said, I purchased this at my local CVS for $8.99. Um, you can find this anywhere. Ulta, CVS, I believe Rite Aid, Walgreens, any drugstore, you can find this. I purchased this because, wait right there, because I was thinking about buying a $50 um, foundation. I'll let you guys think about that for a minute. $50 foundation. In here is a sample of Hourglass's um, Immaculate Matte Foundation. I'm not quite sure what it's called. It's in my phone because I wrote it down. But it's a foundation basically that's supposed to keep you from being oily and control your oils throughout the day. I did try it. It is pretty amazing. But it's $50. And I don't know if I'm ready for that just yet. I just don't know. There's so many other things out there that I have not tried. I don't know if I'm ready to do this. I just, I just don't know. So I saw this. And naturally, I Googled it. And a bunch of YouTube um, videos came up. And I watched them. A lot of YouTubers complained that this made them oily. And made them oilier than they originally were. Which I thought was crazy. Um, I was very hesitant on picking this up, much like my hesitance on picking up the Stay Matte Foundation because of the same reasons. People were giving this terrible reviews and I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend the money if I knew that it was terrible. But I went ahead and I bought it anyway. And I waited to wear it on a day that was very, very um, crappy and uh, on a day that would really affect my skin the most. It is super rainy out. It's super humid, moist, and as you can see by my hair, it's affecting me. But as you can see by my face, it is not. Going into what this should do for you. Now according to the back, it says it's a skin perfecting primer that can be worn alone, under makeup, or on top to create a perfect matte complexion. Controls shine for up to 8 hours, ultra lightweight formula minimizes the appearance of the pores. That has my name all over it. So, I wore it today over, or under rather, my L'Oreal Magic Beauty Foundation, which I love. Okay, we'll get into that at another time. Um, so anyway, I wore this today and I did not need to pat my face at all. My face has been matte all day. All day. 
not only that, but unlike a lot of primers that I have tried, my makeup doesn't slide all over the place when I touch it. It doesn't like transfer. It doesn't leave a white streak from where my fingers were. This primer is really, really impressive and it does really keep your face flat, which is something that I have such a hard time doing, guys. You have no idea. My skin is so oily and so unpredictable. It's just, I, it's, it's, it's really unnerving. But this really, it, it saved my life. I have found a lifesaver and I'm so excited. And honestly, I'm so glad I didn't listen to anyone because if I did, I would have not have bought this and I'm glad I bought it. This is definitely a snag. I would totally recommend everybody with oily skin, oily the combo skin to pick this up because it definitely leaves my skin at least matte. It's amazing. It's worth your money and your time and do it. I'm so excited about this and I'm so happy I picked it up. That is my quick snag it or trash it series on the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button down below, comment and subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys soon. If there's anything that you want to see on this snag it or trash it series, let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, if I don't own it, I will go out and buy it and try it for you guys. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.